Hey, how's it going, sexy felines? My name is MCIK, or Mike Kedoskia. Welcome back to another video, guys. Today, we are going to be taking a look on one of the, the newer, older weapons that came out in Warframe a little bit ago. Welcome back, also, to another Warframe video. Hope you guys are having an amazing Sunday and amazing Palm Sunday uh, and all that good stuff. Today, I know we're doing another look, first look and impression video. I don't like usually doing those back to back on weapons. My uh, last video I did was on the Zoog, and I don't like doing videos back to back. But I wanted to do one because you know I I just okay. Well, I'll, I'll give you the exact reason. So, uh, little old Cole was playing on a mission, getting the the gift from the Lotus war alert, and doing the Catalyst alert, and someone messaged him in game. I uh, can't remember exactly who it was, I'm so sorry, but you know who you are, dude. And he's like, hey, MCIK, you want the Tesla's bolt over? And I'm just like, hey, bro, I'm broke as shit. So, he invites me, or I invite, invite him, him to the dojo because he told me to, and lo and behold... Yeah. So, I really, really, really want to say thank you, dude. That's so sweet of you to do this. I cannot believe it. He gifted, he gifted me this thing, man. He, well, he didn't gift it, but he, he basically traded it for me for nothing. I gave him a hype, hype around thrusters, but that's like nothing. This is awesome. So thank you very much, man. It means a lot to me. I couldn't actually get this because I was not in the syndicate. So thank you. You guys are awesome. I love when you guys do this kind of stuff. Anyway, so thanks to you, we are going to be dedicating this video to you, baby. We are going to be taking a look on the Tesla's Boltor, the... Boltor that is in the Syndicate, I believe, still, no, it's not still Meridian, what is it, um, Arbiters of Hexis, probably is what it is, yes, Arbiters of Hexioso, okay, so, yep, we're gonna take a look at the stats, test it out, level it up 30, put a catalyst on it, all that good shit, and see how it goes, so, uh, before I start the video, I also want to say I do have a Naros, so, yeah, I'm, I'm excited to get a BOTW out for my mini stream, a little bit ago talking about that, but if you, if you missed it, then don't worry about it. I will be doing a BOTW probably Monday, tomorrow. So, get ready for that. Clench your butt cheeks. Okay, anyway, let's get into this video. Okay, so, started off pretty good. We have a V, we have a D polarity. That's good to have two polarities. That's cool, that's cool. Um, I'm not looking too much at the polarities. I want to see the difference between today. I'm going to take a look at the Tesla's Boltor, and I kind of want to compare them to the other Boltors, you know. Obviously, I'm assuming that's going to be better than the Boltor. Okay, so let's do a little comparison first before I look at stats. Actually, you know what? That's a bad idea. <laughs> let's look at stats first. Okay, so stats for the, the Tesla's Boltor. So we got Puncture is 45. It's pretty good for base automatic trigger. Status is very low at 7.5. Reload is 2.4 seconds. Alarming magazine's 90. It's quite huge, actually. Fire rate's 9. Critical multiplier is 2.0. Ooh, critical chance is... 5.0. Oh, ooh, this is not too good of a weapon. I'm not going to say that I hate it, but I don't know. Most I'm not going to judge it though cuz most of the Boltors, they don't really go around status or or critical cuz you know they they mainly just use raw damage. With that being said, I'm not going to judge it. Let's go take a look in comparison with the Boltor and the Tesla's Boltor. So the Bo Tesla's Boltor and the Boltor on the other side. So the original Boltor does have 10% status, which is not that much higher. Okay, so yeah, it definitely is a very big increase. 2.0, which doesn't really matter, but the multiplier, to be honest. Much bigger magazine. Reload is faster. Alright, and definitely a lot more puncture damage. 45, that's quite a bit of puncture for base. Alright, now we're going to compare quickly before we start the video, and or the, the, the testing out. We're going to take the Telcellus Boltor and compare it to the Boltor. All right, Boltor Prime. Sorry, I didn't even complete that sentence. Oh, okay. So the Boltor Prime is just a little bit better than the Tesla's Boltor. Still, Boltor Prime only has 60 in the magazine. This has 90. That's pretty awesome, actually. <laughs> that actually has more accuracy, too. That's always good. And uh, the fire rate's higher, too. Status is high. Other than that, though, I mean, I, I guess... I guess the Boltor Prime is just a small, tiny little bit better than the Tesla's Boltor. So we're not gonna, I'm not gonna hit on the Tesla's Boltor. Let's give it a try. You know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be too harsh on it. Let's go test it out in the field. Let's go onto a, uh, you know, um, let's try Saturn. Let's go on Saturn and test this bad boy out. All right. 
Uh, we're gonna try it out from a stealth. Not too bad. Not too shabby. I'm really enjoying the 90 magazine. And of course, we also have the. You know, that does. I, I, did, I was saying something about how the Bolter Prime might be a tad better than the Tesla's Boltor. But you have to remember, though, the Tesla's Boltor is very unique, seeing how the Boltor Prime does not even have the Syndicate proc. Not actually entirely sure what the Syndicate proc does. But we're going to find out in just a second. Having a little trouble with 11 Bombards. Okay. There we go. Okay, so it looks like a gas. I just saw... It looks like gas damage. Uh, but it had a nice AoE. Oh, look at you. Aren't you cool? <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm not going to use any uh, Naros abilities. I'm going to wait for the VOTW. Don't worry, guys. Don't even worry. Don't even sweat. Okay. So my friend Jonathan's here. So we're going to chill and, and do this shit. Alright, uh, let's test it out just a little bit more. It's doing good damage, actually. 58. Yeah, around 58 puncture damage. No mods on it? Pretty nice. Not gonna lie, it's very nice. Alright, there we go. Alright, so overall, it's doing not too bad. You know, this is Saturn, so it's not like super... I mean, it's kind of low enemies. They're level 11. But, you know, for a base weapon that has no mods on it and uh, pretty much nothing... It's not terrible. All right, so we're going to level it up to 30. Might take a little time, but it's okay. And then I'm going to put the catalyst and put some mods on it and then see what we're doing and see how it's doing uh, at that point in time. So be right back. All right, guys. Anyway, we're back. I'm a little dis disappointed uh, with the, the stuff. Eventually, we'll have to put some form on this thing. So, yeah, all we have was a V. And I added a catalyst, as you can see. Um, and all I was able to put on was serration, split chamber, heavy caliber, stormbringer, and hellfire to make, um, radiation damage, as you can see right there. Um, I did a little bit of testing. It wasn't horrible damage. I'm going to show you guys actually right now. I'm going to go to Draco, show you guys how it works with just the simple modding as it is. No, and this is nothing special, just simple, straight out, level 30 catalyst that's honestly about it so we're gonna hop into a draco mission exterminate i'm just gonna test it out just a little bit to show you guys the damage so uh be right back all right guys we are here and uh we actually just got noticed apparently in game um so far gone <laughs> he's like is that the real mcik i'm just like what <laughs> all right so anyway all right so uh, overall the damage is actually really nice so far um i'm gonna keep using it though uh, it's pretty much two-shotting anything that comes our way. Look at that. Oh, it's actually really good damage. I cannot actually wait to form this thing. Because the damage isn't too bad. And also the proc is super nice. The CFS we can take. Oh, this one's, oh, this is a little, this is, this is, this is, okay, all right. There we go. Chill out, me. Yeah, this, def this definitely has a uh, good bit of potential in this weapon. Uh, it's, oh, look at that proc. That was really nice. I like the gas brock. I think they would be really helpful for Corpus. I don't know. What is gas good for? I can't really remember what the, the best faction is to go up against with gas. Uh, overall, though, it's great. It has a lot of potential. I can't wait to form this thing. Well, I could, I could possibly wait. <laughs> it's, it's like, I'd give it a... Uh, it's just another... It seems like another Bolter Prime without the Forma and the polarity. So I would probably give it a 7 out of 10. I like the big... I like the big magazine size. I can appreciate that. I like that quite a bit. I like the high base damage, but it's just as good, honestly, if not a little bit worse than the Boltar Prime. So I'm not going to drool over it. Nothing special, but still quite a bit of fun. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Thank you guys so much for watching once again. Tune in tomorrow, Sunday at 12 o'clock probably for the BOTW of for Aneros. And I uh, hope you guys are ready for that. I am very excited to give you the, B the BOTW that I still have not created yet. <laughs> this should be fun. Should be a long all-nighter. Anyway, thank you so much for watching the video. Subscribe today if you guys haven't, uh, guys haven't already to join the Feline Pack. That'd be awesome. Thanks so much for watching. My name's MCIK. I'll see you guys for tomorrow's video. Have an awesome day. Stay sexy. Stay cool. And peace out. This feels good right here.